it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to open the second part of this one of two bags. It was 18 pounds of jewelry that I got, and it was like $163 or something like that. And we're going to see what else is in this part of this bag. I have a few earrings left over from yesterday's. We're going to see if we can find some of these mates. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you've been doing. We've all been trying to keep our chins up and, and all that good stuff. In the first half of this video, yesterday's, I found a nice ring. And you guys have been so helpful. And y'all let me know it was called Black Hills Gold. And yeah, I appreciate that. Lady Rainicorn has been guarding over the bag to make sure that I don't peek. Because I really want to. But she says all the things she says in Japanese. I don't understand. But we're going to dive into this one. And again, if you're interested in the, anything you see in the video, email me at texasgaltreasures at gmail.com. Please don't email me on eBay and Etsy because then I will give you a very cryptic message saying I can't talk to you about this here. Wink, wink. Only I can't say wink, wink either. Um, so send me an email. And then I also do craft lots um, or mixed wear repair lots that I sell as well. So if you're interested in, in that, and just send me an email. Okay, so let's dive into this. What I'm going to do is pour it or pull it over and we'll, we'll look at it over here. Okay. Eh, here, already I haven't opened it yet. is this very intriguing necklace. So how this works is you got this chain. Oh, if I can make it work up here. And then there are some straps of leather and some squared off little silver tone beads. And then there are two long pieces, kind of like a bolo. And then I guess you can tie that and make it look fancy. Um, it's interesting. I think it would sell. That would take some doing to describe, don't you think? But I'm probably going to go ahead and put this into one of my mix wear repair lots. This one, I'm trying to decide. I've got a bag of glass that I've been saving to make a lot with these glass pendants. I might take this off to put in here. Or maybe I'll just put the whole thing in or take it off this chain. I'm not sure. So yeah, I'll probably do that and just, you know, either I'll make a lot with them or I'll see like if this is something my sister can use for her wind chimes. She might be able to use them. We'll see. This is really pretty too. I like the, uh, the pink beads. It's stretchy and cute, but this is going to go also to a lot. I think it, I think it would sell, but Oh, thoughts? No, I'm going to love it. Okay, so this necklace, I really like the, the combination of these blues and greens and golds together. There's a little bit of wearing off of the gold tone on the clasp, but I think this one is nice. I think this is one that I'm going to try to sell. It'll probably be, I don't know, around $15 or so. And next up is this necklace. It's got these glass beads that are kind of stationed around the chain. Really pretty. The chain looks like it might be silver. Let me get my magnet and let's test it out. All right, it's not magnetic. And it is marked 925, so we've got a nice silver chain here with some kind of satellite glass beads that are blue. I may try to sell this. It's a little bit different than something I might have normally sold, but I think this is something that I could probably sell. Again, around that $15, $15, $20 in that range. Oh, and how cute is this? We've got a little Scrabble tile, and then there's an image of toe shoes on there. That's really sweet. I'm gonna look this up. I, I mean, the cord is really nice. It's not something, again, that I would normally sell, but I know there are people that really like ballet, and that's a nice little sepia, black and white kind of tone. It's a sepia tone. Um, picture. So I might, I might sell that. That's cute. All right. I've got some things here that are all going to go to a lot. 
And then I've got this really cool necklace. It's got this chain that kind of reminds me of, I know there's a name for this type of necklace, but it almost reminds me of that Greek key style. Uh, I know it's not called Greek key, but it re always reminds me of that. But anyway, this little chain has got this box clasp that's marked Germany. Uh, it's a nice little vintage clasp. And I'm gonna check it out and see what this kind of style chain sells for. It's definitely vintage. Love that clasp. Yeah, I'm gonna see a little bit more about this, this chain. Oh, I'm on the fence about this one. I like that it's in really nice shape. The cord is really nice. And then it's got this slide style pendant. It's in really, really good shape. There's no maker's mark on it, but I, I like it. I think this is something that could sell. Again, I don't think it's gonna be a huge seller, but I definitely think it's something that will sell for probably 15, between 15, 17 dollars, maybe more. I think we're lucking out with our cords today. So a lot of these cords, a lot of times when I get them, they're really nasty, but this is a really cool one too. It's really simple, very minimalist. There are people that are really into minimalist type jewelry. This is just has this nice ring on it connected with this black cord. So this is something also that I think I will sell. Again, not a huge, it's not gonna be a huge profit, but you know, every 10, 15, 20 dollars all adds up. And uh, yeah, this is, will be something that's pretty easy to list and post and ship and all that good stuff. These ones will go to a lot. And then these, oh darn. Okay, I was like, oh, these are gonna sell for sure. But look, I will have to get a new clasp for it, which might be fairly easy to do. I guess I could pull one off of one of these other necklaces that I have going to a lot and just put a new, yeah, I might do that. This is something I'm just gonna take this off of this jump ring and get one from another necklace that maybe is broken or something and put it on there because I love this. These are glass square beads and then they've got some kind of white opaqueness in the center of them, but it's got all these different shades of blue. I really like this. I think once I fix it, I could probably sell this for 25 bucks. And then same with this one. This one's almost like a pride thing. It's got like all the rainbow colors. I love it, it's so pretty. Uh, so yeah, this one again also I am going to sell. This one I'm, I'm probably gonna list again for about 25 bucks. I love it. Some kind of fuzz over here. Oh, why? All right, so these are going to a lot. Oh, look at how sweet this is. If I can get it to where you can see it. It is a teeny, teeny, tiny little bird. Look how cute. And it's on this sweet little chain. Oh, that's so, so cute. Okay, not magnetic. Oh, the bird's magnetic, but the chain is not. So this one, the chain is marked 120th 14 karat gold filled. So this is something I think I will sell. I think this is adorable. I love this. There are gonna be people that love little dainty minimalist type jewelry and i really think somebody will enjoy this teeny tiny little bird on this sweet dainty gold chain i love it i'm thinking i'm probably going to put this around 20 25 bucks as well look ah we're getting some sweet sweet jewelry today this has got this really nice flat gold tone chain and then it's got this bow that's tied on it. Oh, it's so cute. And then we've got a little fold over clasp. Here we go, let me clasp it like so. It's in really beautiful shape. I love this, it's so cute. And it is marked Avon. So I'll have to look up what the price on this would be, but I'm definitely going to sell it. Oh, I think it's so sweet with the little, I'm trying to get it so you can see the shine on it. Isn't that sweet? And like I said, it's in really nice condition. So depending on how many of them are out there, I mean, off the top of my head, if I didn't, like let's say I didn't know it was Avon, I didn't know, I'd probably say about 30 bucks for this. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right, I got the mate for this feather style earring. This one is something I will sell for sure. 
All right, took me a second to figure this one out. So this is the back for the neck. The, then there's this hard gold bar. And then there's two long chains that come down from this necklace. And this is from Claire's. I, I may actually try to sell this one because it's really cool. Let me back it out a little more so you can see. Yeah, I think it's, you know, that's... Almost like like club wear. Like I could see a girl wearing it to a club. <laughs> it's so cute. Like clubs. People are going to go to clubs. Yeah, right. Someday, maybe. Someday the girls will go back to the clubs. Right. So I'm thinking I'll probably put maybe 15 bucks on this. Dude. This is really pretty. I like the, the medallion here. The cord is disgusting. It is grossing me out all over the place. <laughs> but what I think I'll do is I'll take this off, get rid of it, put it in a lot, and then this I can find, I'm sure I've got another nice like black cord that I could use, put that on uh, a cord, and then just sell this either on a chain or a cord by itself. Uh, I think I could easily get 20 bucks if it's on a nice black like satin cord or leather cord or something. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. of fun it's got this cool medallion and then it's got the this black chain necklace am i looking at it backwards no and then these little discs along the side i think that's pretty cool i think this is something that will probably sell i'm looking yeah i think that's something that i could probably sell. i got a couple of more just magnetic gold tone chains these will go to a lot as well oh i like this one this one's really sweet so we've got this silver tone necklace with the satellite beads and let's see it's not magnetic but i don't see any kind of marking on it either so this is something that i think i will definitely sell i think it's really classy really nice so yeah, I will sell this one. Now this chain definitely looks silver. It had this little horse charm on it. It looks silver. Oops. It's not magnetic. It's uh, but I don't see a mark on it either. So that kind of throws me. So I'm guessing it's not silver. I can test it and find out, but it may be something else. But anyway, I think I may try to sell this. I like the chain. I like the little horse charm. They're, you know, little girls that love their horses. So this is something I will definitely try to sell. And here we've got a chain that is marked 925 Italy. There's no clasp though. It's not magnetic. So this will just go with my scrap silver. Even though this is probably just like a little Claire's type bracelet, I love it. I love this little arrow. I love these little faux opal looking stones in there. I had to zoom in so you could see a little bit better. But I think this is so cute. I, I will sell this. Again, I don't think this is one that's going to sell for a whole bunch of money, but I definitely think I can get like 12, 15 bucks for that. And then this is a really nice Monet chain necklace. It's got gold tone chain. Oh, we got a little knot there. And then these kind of bronzy colored, bronzy brassy colored uh, beads. This is something I will also sell. I'll have to look up how much this goes for uh, because it is Monet, so I might find a similar one out there. And then this is very interesting. This is like really heavy duty wiring. So it definitely holds its shape. And it's got this, it almost looks like, reminds me of like a worry disc, like you would sit and rub, you know, a worry, like a worry bead sort of deal. It's hard to get it to hold on. I'm going to definitely sell this. I think this is fun. I like the chain or cord with it. I like the disc. 
it's yeah I like that so this is something I will also sell okay so we've got these beads they're turquoise color you can't see they're these turquoise colored beads we've got three rows and yeah it's a nice bib style necklace that has kind of a rollo chain in the back there's no maker's mark there's a little bit of wear or rubbing from of the silver tone here but i don't think that's going to matter i think this is really a striking piece I think somebody's definitely going to like this. I'll look up similars, but I'm guessing I can get it around 30 bucks for this. On this one, we've got this wire necklace that closes like so. And then we've got three charms that are hanging down. So on two of the sides, there are little hearts. And then on, in the center, there's a moon and a star. Oh my gosh, I love it. It reminds me of the song, I see the moon and the moon sees me and the moon sees the somebody I want to see you know the song okay so that's what that one reminds me of I will definitely sell this I feel like this is my two babies and that's me <laughs> and then we've got some buttons here I think there's some more of these buttons in the bag or I don't know I'm gonna set these aside because there might be more that we can lot up there are people that like getting lots of buttons have some earrings here that will go to a lot and then I'm not sure you can make these out but these are fetish earrings they're little birds and if you've seen fetish jewelry it's got lots of little carved animals out of different gemstones different materials so these are little fetish bird earrings and I'm oh I'm hoping uh, that either in the this one or the next that will find maybe more fetish jewelry because that can really sell. I will definitely sell these. They're not as flashy as some other fetish jewelry that I've seen, but I will find out what these little birds might sell for. They're cute. And then we've got a sweet little H necklace. If you're a holly or a heather or a hyacinth, a Mrs. Bouquet, if you will, um, then this is the necklace for you. And what is that brand down there? That's J. Crew. So it's a J. Crew H initial necklace. It's got a strand so you can choose your length. I will definitely sell this H. J. Crew necklace. I'm not sure how much yet, but I will look it up. And then these earrings I will sell. I love these open work beads on these. I will definitely sell that. First up is this really cool heart. It's got this great steampunk vibe to it. It's broken off of something. So tell me what you would do. Would you try to sell this by itself or would you put it into a lot? Ooh, that's a tough one. This is a bracelet. They look like glass, but they're not. They're plastic. So this the the stretch is gone. I may see if my sister can use these for her, some of her stuff. They sound like they're glass, but they're not cold like glass. Are they glass? Listen, they sound like glass. Maybe I'm wrong, but they're not cold. That's weird. They do sound like glass though. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe they're glass. No, but they're not cold. Weird. So these earrings I will sell. They have this kind of bronzed look to them. Oh, and there's a name for this, and I can't think of it. The, ah, oh, I can't think of it. So, anyway, I will definitely sell these. They're very cool, kind of boho look. Uh, yeah, those will be good to sell. And then this bracelet, I will go ahead and put into a lot. It is, uh, I don't see a name on it, but, you know, some of the silver or gold, I and mean, rather the gold tone is rubbing off, so that can go to a lot. And then I will sell this. This is one of these scarf clips. I think this is really cute and it's got this really nice kind of 
um, sort of a Art Nouveau style. It's not Art Nouveau. This is a plastic faceted bead in there, whatever. And so, yeah, but I still think it's really cute and somebody will enjoy that. Then we've got this sweet little turtle necklace. Uh, it is magnetic. It's missing, it looks like missing a stone. So this will go to a lot. Oh, we've got another multi-strand necklace, silver tone with these satellite beads that are pearl, like faux pearl. But this is something I will definitely sell. This is just classic. And look at this sweet little, I mean, this is just, I love it. I love how delicate it is. I love how dainty it is. This is a Monet bracelet, originally 25 bucks. Oh, I'll have to look it up, but yeah, maybe 25 bucks. Maybe I'll just stick with that. I love this. It's so sweet and dainty. Beautiful. And then I've got some earrings here. They say $1 Co. They look really nice on the back though. So let's take a peek. I mean, they need to be cleaned. Don't get me wrong. But there is a name that I don't see every day. And I think that says Rich Elu, R-I-C-H-E-L, and then I-E-U, Rich Elu, which I don't know that brand. On the back of the back of earring, it says Simply Whispers, which is weird. I don't know what that is. So I'll have to look these earrings up and find out more about them. So these earrings need to be cleaned up, but they are marked 925, so I will clean those ones up. They're kind of grody. Oh, uh, yeah, well, but I'll have to clean them up. Yeah. Then we're looking at a silver tone bead neck uh, bracelet. I know sometimes I say necklace when it's a bracelet. I try to correct myself. But this one, I'm gonna just put into a lot. And look at this, y'all. Oh my goodness, you're gorgeous, darling. I love it. And if you're probably wondering like, what, Margaret, that looks like a big, round pile of nothing. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It is some sort of conglomerate of different stone that I can, I don't know what kind of stone this is, but it is a scarab. Can you see it? It is a big chubby scarab. Let me get closer. What, pray tell, type stone is that? It looks like, kind of like a conglomerate of a bunch of different stuff smushed together. But, I think it's wonderful. I love rocks and minerals. It's almost making me wonder if it's not natural. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me your thoughts. And if I don't keep it because I think he's magnificent, I, I would keep it and not wear it. This is not my style of jewelry at all. But I just love him. I think he's so, I, I love the stone. I love the scarab. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, tell me what you think about this. Let me zoom it out so you can see a little bit more. And it's just on this, what is this? Just cord. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe not. I really like that. And then we've got two little wishbones here. I, mm, I'll probably put this into a lot. These earrings, I think I will put into a lot as well. Oh, and let's look at this. Look, it looks like a little opal, doesn't it? It looks like a tiny little opal. You can kind of see the opalescence when I move it around. So the back's got a 925 there. I mean, it could be a lab created. It's not like a fancy schmancy opal, but it's definitely got that opalescence in there. I'm gonna probably find a little silver chain to put on this and I'll sell that. It's so sweet and dainty and tiny little opal, so sweet. And then while we're still zoomed in, I am hoping I find the mate to this. It's some kind of jade or jadeite. And I believe it's an earring. Yeah, it's an earring. But look, it's just this really nice, smooth stone cabochon with this earring affixed on the back. And I truly hope that the mate is there because I think it's wonderful. Wonderful! You have to it'd be a doozy to get that in your ear though. I'd figure it out. 
There's Cousin It's girlfriend from yesterday. All right, you can go to the lot too. So here we've got a whole lot of stuff going to a lot. I'm on the fence about this. This looks like a necklace extender. Tell me what you think. If I should try to keep that or or not. I don't know. So for now, this is going to a lot. We have this one. We had the bracelet yesterday. This one is broken. I don't know if that's fixable. That's the necklace that went with it. But that is going to go to a lot. This is a pretty cool hair clip. I may try to sell that. That's, you just slide it right in and you've got, whoa bam a brooch. We should totally make these, y'all. I love it. Just get a brooch, get a clip, put it on, clippy clip, beautiful. These are some button covers and they say Avon on the back. I'm gonna wait and see if there are more in the other bag. A Couple more buttons. Those will go with the others that I'm gonna lot up. I really like these earrings. These might be some catch and release. I think they're very delicate, dainty. They look like little glass teardrops here. I think this is something that I might try to keep and wear for a while. I think these are really pretty. Those ones will go to a lot. This bracelet, I think I will try to sell. It's got a nice multi-strand, different kinds of chains. I could see someone really enjoying this bracelet. So I, again, it's probably gonna be 15 bucks or so, but I think somebody will enjoy it. And then this is a really nice gold chain. It feels really good. Uh, I don't see any marks on it, but let's see. It is magnetic, but it feels like really nice quality. So I definitely think I'm going to try to sell this, even in my hands. It feels like really nice quality. So I will try to sell that. That's, that's really nice. And then we have a locket. Let's look at it. So on this locket, we've got a flower and a key and a nice little antiqued chain. And it's, oh, it's a teacher one. A teacher takes a hand, opens a mind and touches a heart. Oh, that's sweet. That is a really sweet, that would make a nice teacher gift. I will definitely sell that. We've got a few little rings here. This, uh, I don't see a mark on either of them. That's a really sweet little ring though. And then we've got another infinity ring. That one looks like a stacking ring. Let me see if there's any marks on any of these. This ring has RSC inside. I don't know what that stands for, but it's cute. And then I think that's it. Yeah, none of the other rings had any kind of marks on the inside. I, I will, uh, hmm, thoughts? I might try to sell that one just because of the infinity sign. I will look this one up. It's really cute. It looks like maybe child size, it's pretty small. And then I'm gonna wait and see if I see any more stackable ones like that. We got this little heart pendant. It is not real gold, but I think I'll find a chain and put it on. And I think I can sell that, a nice little gold tone chain. And these silver tone earrings, again, I think I will sell these. I like them a lot personally. So I think this is something that will sell. And I really hope the mate to this one turns up. The back of that says ATI925. I, I like those a lot, so I hope the mate shows up. And then look, the mate for these, uh, this one turned up. So it's got this nice little, at first I thought they were closing A. It's not closing A, it's just a nice little glass type bead. Earrings, I just have to pop some backs on those. They hang down from chains like so. So that one I will definitely sell. And then we've got some sweet little gold earrings. These are 14 karat gold. I am going to look for the mate for the little butterfly. I'll find some little backs to put on these. And either I will sell them or I will put them with my scrap gold. But they are all 14K. Isn't that sweet? Yay, more gold. And then this little bracelet, it's a charm bracelet, American Girls Collection, and it's got two little girls. This one came off. 
I don't, I'll have to look closer to see which American girls they are. And, and maybe wait and see, maybe there's some more of the charms in the other bag. Because if I could get a nice American girl charm bracelet, that would be really nice. I think that would be a good seller. And then this looks like a little amethyst in a silver tone setting. However, it is magnetic. But as we've learned, it still could be. Let's see if there's any marks on it. I don't see any marks on this, but I really like it. So I'm on the fence about it. I might find a silver tone chain to put it on and go ahead and sell it. everybody I hope you enjoyed this video go down there leave me a comment and a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one bye have a great evening